The Kannapolis bus driver behind this shocking video mocking children is now sharing her side with Channel 9. To say I wasn't stressed and at the max, yes. Well, now the bus driver has lost her job and she even tells Channel 9 that she's getting threats. And that's why we agreed not to show her face in return for this interview. Channel 9's Susanna Black is in Kannapolis tonight. She's live. So, Susanna, what does she have to say about her behavior to you today? Well, Scott, tonight that driver just says that she is sorry and wants to make it clear that she was doing a job she never signed up for. She says she was hired as a substitute bus driver, but was permanently given that route. The school system telling us tonight, making her the 17th person since August to drive it. That's a Kannapolis Middle School bus driver yelling at her students. She was fired because of that behavior, and now she just wants everyone to know she's sorry. I was wrong for what I'd done. I'm not going to argue that. I should have never come out of character. But she says it's what you didn't see about that day that made her feel she had no choice. That tire blows. I'm talking pieces are flying. Her bus tire blew just minutes into the ride, and she says that launched the students into chaos. Now those children are cussing, wanting to hang out the window. Calling parents, hollering, they don't give a F. That's when she says she stood up to try and get the kids under control, and this happened. <laughs> she says those beeps are children cursing at her, and she fired back with this. I don't care about none of y'all little kids. My mind just went blank. I can't lie and say it didn't. It went blank. And she says it happened again once she and the students were on a new bus and on their way. Spell anxiety. You can't spell you all aren't seeing her give me the finger f you this this all the third but at the end of the day you still can't say things like that to kids do you get that correct and I, i'm not disagreeing that at all and the fact that i even said you cry baby knowing that it hurt me just as much but can you look at all aspects give me credit i moved that bus safely i dealt with their verbal abuse non-stop And the driver added that she actually wanted to turn that bus around and take the kids back to school because of their behavior. But Scott, she says that substitute bus they had been given didn't have a radio system for her to call officials and let them know. Tonight, Kannapolis City Schools confirming that that bus didn't have a radio, but they said that that is not required by the state. All in all, a bus ride I think everybody on there would like to forget. Thanks, Susanna.